dear students welcome to e shikshana program in my couple of last classes i considered discrete probability distributions and discussed and solved problems on binomial probability distribution and poisson probability distribution in my remaining classes i will be considering continuous probability distributions and discuss on two continuous probability distributions normal probability distribution and exponential probability distribution unlike discrete random variables continuous random variables such as height time weight monetary values length of life of a particular product etc <coughs> do not have probability distribution functions specifying the exact probabilities of their specified values instead probability distribution is created by distributing one unit of probability along the real line such a distribution also called as probability density function determines probabilities that the random variable falls into specified interval of values certain characteristics of probability density function for the continuous random variable x are as follows area under a continuous probability distribution is equal to 1 probability of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b will fall in an interval from a to b is equal to the area under the probability density function curve between the points a and b since nature follows a predictable pattern for many kinds of measurements therefore most numerical values of a random variable are spread around the center a frequency distribution of values of random variable observed in nature which follows this pattern is approximately bell shaped thus such distribution of measurements is called normal curve or normal distribution normal probability distribution function the formula for normal probability distribution or probability density function for normal probability distribution is f of x is equal to 1 divided by sigma into root 2 pi into e power x minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma square minus infinity less than x less than infinity where pi is equal to 3.1416 is constant e is 2.7183 mu is the mean of the normal distribution sigma is standard deviation of normal distribution and f of x is equal to relative frequencies that is height of the curve within which values of random variable x fall the graph of the normal probability distribution with mean mu and the standard deviation sigma is shown in the following figure so you can easily make out so this is the normal curve normal curve uh, <coughs> symmetric about the line x is equal to mu mu is the a mean mean of the distribution so total area under the curve is 1 <coughs> so therefore this line x is equal to mu divides the entire region into two equal parts each of area 0.5 0.5 so 0.5 plus 0.5 that makes 1 the ends of the uh, normal curve are asymptotic to the x axis or horizontal line so in this figure additional information that 
the areas under the curve for different values of mu and sigma is given. For example, the area between mu minus 1 into sigma to mu plus 1 into sigma is 0.6826 or 68.26 percent. Similarly, area from minus, mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma is 95.9544 or 95.44 percent. The area between mu minus 3 sigma and mu plus 3 sigma is 0.9974 or 99.74, almost very uh, very close to 1, 99.74 percent. Okay. The distribution is symmetric about its mean mu that falls at the center of the curve. Since the total area under the normal probability distribution is equal to 1, the symmetry implies that the area on either side of mu is 50 percent or 0.5. The shape of the distribution is determined by mu and sigma values, that is the mean and standard deviation values. So these are the two figures. This is the <coughs> normal curve for different values of fi fixed, ba fixed value of mean and different values of sigma and in this figure fixed value of standard deviation and different values of mu are uh, showing that uh, the mean can be negative, mean can be zero or mean can be positive. In this figure for a fixed mean for two different values of sigma that is sigma 1 and sigma 2 where sigma 2 is greater than sigma 1 shows that as sigma 2 assumes larger value or increases, standard deviation increases, the normal curve tends to wider and flatter showing that more variability in the data, showing more variability in the data. And in, all, in, in both the cases, the curve is symmetric about x is equal to mu. characteristics of normal probability distribution. The shape of the normal distribution varies according to the value of mean mu and standard deviation sigma. Larger the value of standard deviation sigma, the wider and the flatter is the normal curve showing more variability in the data. Thus, the standard deviation sigma determines the range of values that any random variable is likely to assume. From the above two figures, that is figure, this figure and this figure, the following characteristics of a normal distribution and its density function may be derived. One, for every pair of values of mu and sigma, the normal probability density function curve is bell shaped and symmetric. The mean mu determines the central location of the normal distribution while the standard deviation sigma determines its spread. Two. The normal curve is symmetrical around a vertical line at the mean mu with respect to the area under it. That is, 50% of the area of the curve lies on both sides of the mean mu. This implies that the probability of any random variable whose value is above or below the mean will be the same. Thus, for any normal random variable x, probability of x less than or equal to mu is exactly equal to probability of x greater than or equal to mu, both are equal to 0.5 or 50 percent. 3. The values of mean, median and mode for the normal distribution are equal because the highest value of the probability density function occurs when value of a random variable x is equal to mu. The two tails of the normal curve extend to infinity 
in both directions and never touch the horizontal axis that means uh, the end ends of the normal curve are asymptotic to the x axis or the horizontal line the mean of the normal distribution may be negative zero or positive the area under the normal curve represents probabilities for the normal random variable and therefore the total area under the curve for the normal distribution is 1 standard normal probability distribution to deal with problems where the normal probability distribution is applicable the value of random variable x is standardized by expressing it as the number of standard deviation sigma lying on both sides of its mean mu such standardized normal random variable z is defined as z is equal to x minus mu by sigma this is a normal variable or x is equal to mu plus z into sigma we note that when x is less than the mean less than the mean the value of z is negative when x is more than the value of mean mu z is positive when x is exactly equal to mu z is equal to 0 any normal probability distribution with parameters mu and sigma can be converted into another distribution called standard normal probability distribution with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 with the help of probability density function of normal distribution the probability density function for the normal distribution in standard form is given by f of z is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi into e power minus z square divided by 2 where minus infinity is less than z less than infinity this is free from any parameter this helps us to compute areas under the normal probability curve by using standard table so so this is the formula to calculate the area under the normal curve for different values of z and it is given in the form of uh, standard normal distribution table so this is the standard normal distribution table for various values of z the areas are given so you can easily notice that this is the standard normal curve and <coughs> it is symmetric about the line z is equal to 0 that is x is equal to mu x is equal to mu z is equal to 0 so this is z is equal to 0 that means z can take the positive values as well as negative values here and since the curve is symmetric about this line this whole area is divided into uh, is uh, divided into two equal parts each of area 0.5 and 0.5 so 0.5 plus 0.5 makes 1 since the curve is symmetric any area i am interested in this to the left of z is equal to 0 for example if i want to know the area from z is equal to minus 1 to 0 because of symmetry it is as good as finding the area from z is equal to 0 to z is equal to plus 1 so minus 1 to 0 is same as 0 to plus 1 similarly suppose if i want to know the area of the strip Minus 1.5 to minus 0.5. It is as good as finding the area uh, <coughs> from plus 0.5 to plus 1.5. Z is equal to 0.5 to z is equal to 1.5. <coughs> so anything that I want to know here, I can always map it on to the other side and find out its probability or the area under the curve. So first, let us understand how to locate <coughs> the areas for different values of z. For example, if I want to know 1.0, 0 to z is equal to 0 to 1.0, what is the area? So 1.0. So you should move 
like this in the same row so 0.3413 so area z is equal to 0 to 1 is 0.3413 suppose if you want to know 0 0.16 0 to 0 0.16 so 0 0.16 means you have to go to 0 0.06 column here so 0 0.16 is uh, <coughs> 0 to 0 0.16 is 0 0.0636 suppose if I want to know 1.47 1.47 1 1.4 is here so you should go to 0 0.07 column okay 1.47 the area is 0.4292 similarly if I want to know 2.35 2.3 so you should go to 2.3 here 2.3 uh, same row should continue and take the intersection 0 0.05 and 2.3 so this is 2.3 5.4906 is the area suppose if I want to know 1.77 1.77 0 to 1.77 so 1.7 is here so move in the same row to the column below point 0 0.07 so 1.77 say 0 to 1.77 is 0.4616 so you can reverse you can reverse given the area you can also find z so for example <coughs> given area is 0 0.3531 so what is the corresponding value of z so this is 0 0.05 is here so you go back like this so 1.05 yeah, 1.05 so similarly if i want to know the value of z for this 0.49 this area 0.4929 so this is uh, a 0 0.05 is here 2.45 the value of z is 2.45 for example if i if i want to know 0.3962 this is the given area so 0 0.6 so the corresponding z is 1.26 so likewise so this will help us to calculate the probabilities or areas under the given curve and uh, under the normal curve uh, in solving problems okay. so let me consider this example find the area under the normal curve in each of the cases in each of the cases a z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.2 z is equal to minus 0.68 and z is equal to 0 z is equal to minus 0 0.46 and z is equal to 2.21 z is equal to 0 0.81 and z is equal to 1.94 to the left of z is equal to minus 0 0.6 and lastly to the right of z is equal to minus 1.28 so let me consider in the solution part first problem area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.2 so this is the standard normal curve <coughs> z is equal to 0 is the midline this line and z is equal to 1.2 so maybe you can consider here positive value <coughs> so z is equal to 0 z is equal to 1.2 so this is the area i am interested in the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.2 so i have to search for 1.2 i have to look for area from 0 to 1.2 in the table in the table 1.2 so 1.2 is 0 0.3849 1.2 0 0.3849 so required area is 0 0.3849 second example area between z is equal to minus 0 0.68 and z is equal to 0 so this is the area so this is the negative value of z so z is equal to minus 0 0.68 and this is z is equal to 0 as i told you because of symmetry this strip is nothing but the strip between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 0 0.68 so finding area of this strip 
is as good as writing uh, finding the area of this portion this portion okay so I have to look for z is equal to 0 to 0.68 so I have to look for 0.68 in the table 0 to 0 0.68 0 0.6 is here 8 means the second row uh, should go to okay, 0.2517 from the table 0 0.68 is 0 0.0 to z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.68 is 0 0.2517 0 0.2517 0.2517 okay now third question <coughs> area between z is equal to minus 0.46 and z is equal to 2.21 okay that means <coughs> in the figure it is very clearly shown a negative value z so you can consider z is equal to minus 0 0.46 2 z is equal to 2.21 so this is the complete area i am interested in so this area is nothing but this area total area from here to here is nothing but area from the here to here that is z area between z is equal to minus 0.46 and z is equal to 0 plus <coughs> area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 2.21 so that's what i have written here so required area is area between z is equal to minus 0.46 and z is equal to 0 plus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 2.21 so this is this is same as now because of symmetry this area is same as area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 4.6 so this trick its replica so therefore this can be written as area between z is equal to 0 0 and z is equal to plus 0.46 plus area <coughs> between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 2.21 so i have to look for the area 0 to 0.46 from the table 0 0.46 0 0.4 uh, 6 is here so 0 0.1772 0 0.1772 1772 plus area between 0 and 2.21 so i have to look for 2.21 here 2.2 oh, 1 1 is here 2.2 that is 0 0.4864 0 0.4864 0 0.4864 so adding these two areas <coughs> we get 0 0.6636 so uh, the area between z is equal to minus 0 0.46 and z is equal to 2.21 is 0 0.6636 next problem <coughs> area between z is equal to 0 0.81 and z is equal to 1.94 both positive values here so z is equal to 0 0.81 maybe you can consider this line z is equal to 1.94 so greater than 0 0.81 so you can consider this as z is equal to 1.94 so I, I have to consider I have to calculate this area this area so this area is nothing but 0 to area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.94 minus this area z is equal to area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.81 that's what is written here so required area is area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.94 minus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.81 so i have to look for this area 1.94 from the table 0 to 1.94 1.944 is here 0 0.4738 0 0.4738 0 0.4738 minus minus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.81 so for 0 0.81 so this is 0 0.8 0 0.8 is here 0 0.81 0 0.2910 0 0.2910 0 0.2910 so if you subtract 
<coughs> these two areas we get <coughs> the numerical value or the area 0 0.1828 so the area between 0 0.81 uh, z is equal to 0 0.81 and z is equal to 1.94 is 0 0.1828 next question to the left of z is equal to minus 0 0.6 so let us negative value to the left of z is equal to minus 0 0.6 so this portion to the left of z is equal to minus 0 0.6 is this portion this is same as this is same as to the right of z is equal to plus 0 0.6 you can easy because of symmetry because of symmetry this area is nothing but is exactly equal to this area <coughs> that means left of z is equal to minus 0 0.6 area is nothing but the area uh, to the right of z is equal to 0 0.6 so we have to calculate this area which is nothing but the this area so required area that means how do we calculate here so we know this is 0.5 and this is 0.5 totally it is 1 so i know this entire of to the right of z is equal to 0 is 0.5 so 0.5 minus this is this area to the right of z is equal to 0 0.6 so therefore required area is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.6 so now so to find the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0 0.6 i have to look into the table for z is equal to 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.6 0 0.2257 0.2257 so 0.2257 so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2257 so when we subtract we get the numerical value is 0 0.2743 so therefore <coughs> the area to the left of z is equal to minus 0 0.6 is 0.2743 next to the right of z is equal to minus 1.28 so negative value once again to the right entire portion entire portion to the right of z is equal to minus 1.28 so a shaded this shaded portion is the area which is required here and we know that we know that <coughs> uh, this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 and this is also 0 0.5 so required area is area between from here to here plus from here to plus plus 0.5 okay? so this entire area is area between z is equal to minus 1.28 and z is equal to 0 plus 0.5 because i know this entire uh, <coughs> z is equal to 0 entire portion after z is equal to 0 this entire portion is 0.5 so this area plus 0.5 so that's what is written here required area is area between z is equal to minus 1.8 and z is equal to 0 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 so this area is same as minus 1.28 to z is equal to 0 is same as area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 1.28 so this portion this portion so therefore this can be written as area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.28 plus this 0.5 so now to find the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1.28 i have to look into the table for z is equal to 1.28 1.2 is here third row 1.2 Yeah, it is here 0 0.3997 0 0.3997 plus 0 0.5 uh, <coughs> when we add these two areas we get 0 0.8997 therefore the area to the right of 
z is equal to minus 1.28 is 0.8997. Second problem. <coughs> now this is a reverse problem. Given the area, we have to find the value of z. Find the value of z in each case. Area between z is equal to 0 and z is 0 0.3770 the question is area between z is equal to 0 and z is 0 0.3770 area to the left of z is 0 0.8621 the area between minus z and plus z is 0 0.9030 area to the right of z is 0.6915 okay the solution part first problem area between z equal to 0 and z is given to be 0.3770 okay so now this is the uh, <coughs> normal curve so z is equal to 0 is here and for some value of for some z the area is given to be 0.3770 I have to find out this value of z for which 0 to z is the area 0 0.3770 so once again i have to go back to the table 3770 is the area given 3770 so i have to search for 3770 in the table 3770 <coughs> so if you carefully look 3770 it is here 0.3770 so 0 0.6 so corresponding 1.16 1.16 you can easily make out 3770 0 0.6 3770 second row so 1.16 1.16 the value of z is 1.16 next problem area to the left of z is to the left of z plus z is 0.8621 so positive value z to the left of z that is more than 80 percent 50 percent so it has to be like this only so to the left of z is this area uh, this area so we know this is 0.5 this is 0.5 so 0 0.8621 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.3621 so this portion is 0 0.3621 so when you add these two we get 0.8621 hope you will understand this <coughs> this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.8621 given so 0 0.8621 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.3621 when you add these two you get 0 0.8621 so i have to calculate this value of z so i have to search for 0 0.621 area in the table to find the value of z Point three six two one point three six two one point three six two one three six two one three five is here three six uh, three six two one is here so this is point nine uh, one point zero nine uh, one point zero nine three six two one is here one point zero nine 1.09 next problem the area between minus z and plus z is 0 0.9030 so area between minus z and plus z is 0 0.9030 so uh, <coughs> minus z to z is equal to 0 is same as z is equal to 0 to z so therefore this is <coughs> these two share the equal areas that means 0 0.9030 is divided by 2 that will give you 0 0.4515 and another 0 0.4515 when we add these two we get 0 0.9030 so that means I have to look for <coughs> this z that means I have to search for 4515 4 in the table 4515 4515 in the table 
four five one five. Uh, 4515 is here so this is the value area for this area corresponding value of z this is 0 0.06 so 0 0 0.4515 0.4515 1.6 1.66 1.66 1.6 the value of z is 1.66 next problem area to the right of z is 0.6915 area to the right of z right of 69.15 percent that is uh, above 50 so uh, <coughs> this is the area to the right of z above the area is 0.6915 so we know this area is 0.5 0.5 this area is 0.5 and therefore uh, 0.6915 minus 0.5 will give you 0.1915 that is z to this this strip this strip is same as uh, 0 to another z here that is 0.1915 so I have to look for this area 0.1915 in the table 0.1915 Point one nine one five in the table. Point one nine ah uh, one five is here. So point five. Point one nine one five. Point five. So point five. Z is equal to point five. Z is equal to point five. But Z is to the left of Z is equal to zero. So therefore Z must be equal to minus zero point five. So value of Z is minus zero point five. Okay. Third example. <coughs> For the normal distribution with the mean 2 and standard deviation 4, evaluate the following probabilities. 1. Probability of x greater than or equal to 5. Probability of mod x strictly less than 4 probability of mod x greater than 3 so it is given that for normal distribution with the mean mu is given mu is equal to 2 <coughs> and the standard deviation 4 sigma is given to be equal to 4 so mu is 2 <coughs> sigma is 4 evaluate the following probabilities okay. so first let us write the standard normal random variable z is equal to x x is the normal variable x minus mu by sigma it is given that mean mu is equal to 2 standard deviation sigma is equal to 4 so when we substitute here we get z is equal to x minus 2 divided by 4 okay. to know the probability of x greater than or equal to 0 x greater than or equal to 5 let us find out the value of z at x is equal to 5 <coughs> when x is equal to 5 z is x is 5 5 minus 2 divided by 4 5 minus 2 3 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.75 3 by 4 0 0.75 so therefore probability of x greater than or equal to 5 is equal to probability of z greater than or equal to 0. 7, 5. So let us assume that for x is equal to 5, z is equal to 0. 0.75. So this is the line z is equal to 0. 0.75 and z is greater than or equal to 0. 0.75 means this entire portion to the right of z is equal to 0. 0.75 area, this area. So to find this area, I know this area is 0. 0.5 to the right of z is equal to 0 or x is equal to mu 0. 0.5. So 0. 0.5 minus this area this entire area 0.5 minus this area will give me this area which is nothing but the required probability so therefore probability of z greater than or equal to 0.75 is nothing but 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus probability of 0 less than z 
less than 7, 7, 0.75 that means probability the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0.75 okay now i have to look into the table to find out what is the <coughs> area from z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0.75 so 0.7 is here 75 so 75 if you move carefully like this 75 a point two seven three four. Can you notice this? Point two seven three four. Point seven five. Point seven five. Point two seven three four. Point two seven three four. So zero point five minus zero point two seven three four. That will give the numerical value zero point two two six six. So therefore. <clears throat> the probability of x greater than or equal to 5 is equal to 0 0.2266 next question probability of mod x less than 4 so this is nothing but equal to probability of minus 4 less than x less than 4 so let us find out the corresponding value of z for this x is equal to minus 4 and for this x is equal to plus 4 so when x is 4 you know what is z here z is x minus 2 by 4 x minus 2 by 4 when x is plus 4 4 minus 2 by 4 so z is 4 minus 2 by 4 4 minus 2 is 2 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 is equal to 0.5 when x is minus 4 minus 4 minus 2 so minus 6 by 4 when you simplify when you divide minus 6 by 4 minus 3 by 2 is equal to minus 1.5 so now probability of mod x less than 4 is equal to this this is nothing but now probability of minus 1.5 coming from x is equal to minus 4 minus 1.5 less than z less than 0.5 coming from x is equal to plus 4 that is I want we want to know the area <coughs> from minus 1.5 to plus 0 0.5 so when x is minus 4 z is minus 1.5 when x is 4 z is equal to plus plus 0.5 so we are interested in this shaded portion that is area between z is equal to minus 1.5 and z is equal to plus 1.5 which is same as area between z is equal to minus 1.5 and z is equal to 0 plus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0.5 or in other words <coughs> this is same as <coughs> probability of minus 1.5 less than z less than 0 from here to here plus probability of 0 less than z less than 0.5 <coughs> but we know that <coughs> area between z is equal to minus 1.5 and 0 is same as area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 1.5 so this can be written as <coughs> probability of 0 less than z less than 1.5 plus 1.5 plus probability of 0 less than z less than 0.5 now this area <coughs> probability or area under the curve from z is equal to 0 to 1.5 so I have to look into the table find out what is the area for z is equal to 1.5 0 to 1.5 is here 1.5 plus plus then up to 0.5 0 to 0.5 so 0.5 is here 0 0.1915 0 0.1915 <coughs> when we add these two areas we get the numerical value or the area 0 0.6247 so therefore probability of mod x less than 4 is equal to 0 0.6247 next <coughs> probability of mod x greater than 3 so this can be written as complement use the complementary property 1 minus 1 minus probability of mod x this is strictly greater than so less than or equal to 3 <coughs> so this can be written as 1 minus probability of minus 3 less than or equal to x 
less than or equal to 3. So z is given to be x minus 2 mu is 2 standard deviation is 4. So x minus 2 divided by 4. When x is minus 3, shall let us calculate the value of z corresponding to x is equal to minus 3 and plus 3. When x is minus 3, z is minus 3 minus 2 divided by 4. That will give minus 1.25. When x is plus 3, 3 minus 2, 1 by 4, 0.25. So therefore, mod probability of mod x greater than 3 is equal to 1 minus probability of uh, minus 1.25 coming from x is equal to minus 3 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0.25 coming from x is equal to plus 3. So this is equal to 1 minus now this is the value when x is minus 3 z is minus 1.25 when x is 3 z is equal to plus 0.25 so this shaded portion is the required probability or the area. <coughs> area that means this is equal to uh, area between z is equal to minus 1.25 to 0 plus area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 0.25 so that's what in terms of probability it is it can be written as 1 minus probability of minus 1.25 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 plus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0.25 but this probability or area is same uh, <coughs> that is area between <coughs> z is equal to minus 1.5 and z is equal to 0 is same as z is equal to area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 1.25 so therefore this can be written as 1 minus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to plus 1.25 plus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0.25. Now uh, to find this area as a probability I have to look for z is equal to 1.25 in the uh, standard normal distribution table 1.25. 1 1.2 is here 1 1.2 1.25 0 0.3944 0.3944 0.3944 plus this plus <coughs> then 0 0.25 0 0.25 plus 0.25 so 0.25 is here 0.25 means uh, okay 0 0.0987 0 0.0987 0 0.0987 so 1 minus of this area plus this area so when we compute this entire thing we will get the numerical value uh, 0 0.5069 so probability of mod x greater than 3 is equal to 0 0.5069 next problem <coughs> if x is a normal variate with mean 30 and standard deviation Five. find the probabilities that 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 x greater than or equal to 45 mod x minus 30 is greater than 5 so x is a normal variate with the mean <coughs> mu is given to be 30 standard deviation sd means standard deviation is given to be 5 so sigma is 5 mu is 30 find the probability p of probability p of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 p of x greater than or equal to 45 probability of this that is p of mod x minus 30 greater than 5 okay. so writing the <coughs> standard <coughs> normal z is equal to x minus mu by sigma standard normal variable mu is given to be 30 <coughs> sigma is given to be 5 so when we substitute these two here we get z is equal to x minus 30 divided by 5 okay problem number 1 
we have to find the probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40. Okay, that is we have to find probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40. First, let us find out the corresponding z for this value of x and similarly the value of z for this value of x. <coughs> so, when x is 26, z is substitute for x 26, 26 minus 30 divided by 5 this will give you minus 0 0.8 <coughs> when x is 40 z is equal to 40 minus 30 by 5 40 minus 30 10 by 5 that is equal to 2 so therefore probability of 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 is equal to minus 0.8 coming from 26 x is equal to 26 minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 2, 2 coming from x is equal to 40. So this is <coughs> equal to, this is uh, shown here, this area, when x is 26, z is minus 0 0.8, when x is 40, z is equal to 2, and this is the uh, line, x is equal to mu, uh, z is equal to 0, when x is equal to mu, z is equal to 0, <coughs> and this shaded portion is the required area or the probability. <coughs> okay. So this is nothing but probability or area between z is equal to minus 0 0.8 and z is equal to 0 plus the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 2 or probability of this is equal to probability of minus 8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 0 plus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 2. Okay. But this area between minus 0 0.8 and z is equal to 0 is same as the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to plus 8. So therefore, this can be written as probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to plus 0 0.8 plus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to so now to find the area <coughs> from 0 to 0.8 I have to look for 0.8 in the table <coughs> 0 0.8 0 0.2881 0 0.2881 then well, 0 to z is equal to 2 z is equal to 2 so 2.0 0 0.4772 0 0.4772 so when we add these two we get 0 0.7653 so therefore probability of <coughs> 26 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 40 is equal to 0 0.7653 second example probability of x greater than or equal to 45 now let us calculate the value of z corresponding to x is equal to 45 so when x is equal to 45 z is x minus 30 so x is 45 45 minus 30 by 5 45 minus 30 by 5 so this is 15 by 5 is 3 <coughs> so therefore probability of x greater than greater than or equal to 45 is equal to probability of z greater than or equal to 3 so it is shown in this figure uh, this is the line x is equal to mu or x, z is, when x is equal to mu z is equal to 0 then at when x is equal to 45 z is 3 <coughs> let us take this as the value of z z is equal to 3 is this line uh, <coughs> probability of z greater than or equal to 3 that means greater than or equal to 3 means this entire portion to the left of to the right of z is equal to 3 this entire portion up to infinity so now this area we are interested in is nothing but this entire area we know the uh, area to the right of z is equal to z that means this portion 0.5 minus area from between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 3 so that means <coughs> it is it can be written as 0 0.5 so z probability of z greater than or equal to 3 can be written as point is nothing but 0.5 minus probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 3 okay so now from 0 to 3 <coughs> probability 
So the area for z is equal to 3 or from the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 3 we have to look for z is equal to 3 and the corresponding area uh, in the table 3, 3 .0, 0 0.4987 0 0.4987 0 0.4987 so 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4987 that will give 0 0.0013 one three. So therefore, probability of x greater than or equal to 45 is equal to 0 0.0013. Next problem. <coughs> probability of mod x minus 30 is greater than 5. So using complementary property, this can be written as 1 minus probability of mod x minus 30 less than or equal to 5. So strictly greater than so less than or equal to 5. So this is equal to 1 minus probability of uh, minus 5 less than or equal to x minus 30 less than or equal to 5. So adding 30 uh, we get 1 minus probability of 25 30 minus 5 25 less than or equal to x uh, <coughs> less than or equal to so this will vanish. So less than or equal to 30 plus 5, 35. So probability of 25 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 35. <coughs> so we know the uh, standard normal variable for for the given mu and sigma x minus 30 by 5. So let us calculate value of z for each of the value of x 25 and 35. When x is 25, 25 minus 30. Uh, 25 minus 30 minus 5 by 5 is minus 1 z is equal to minus 1 when x is 35 35 minus 30 is 5 divided by 5 so z is equal to plus 1 so therefore probability of mod x minus 30 greater than 5 is equal to 1 minus probability of minus 1 coming from uh, 25 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1. This 1 is coming from x is equal to 35. So minus 1 to plus 1. So when x is 25, z is minus 1. When x is 35, z is plus 1. <coughs> that means this shaded portion. So this is, since the uh, <coughs> curve is symmetric about this line, this area is same as this area. So uh, this whole area is nothing but twice the area from 0 to 1. <coughs> so you can write this as twice the area between z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 or it can be written as 1 minus probability of minus 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1 can be written as 1 minus twice the probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1. Twice probability of 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1. So now to find this area, this probability, I have to look for z is equal to 1 in the table 1.0. So 1.0, 0 0.3413, okay, 1 minus, 1 minus 2 into, so this area 0.3413. So when we Simplify this 1 minus twice 0.3413 is equal to 0 0.3174. So, therefore, <coughs> probability of <coughs> mod x mod x minus 30 greater than 5 is equal to 0 0.3174. So, I am going to stop here. In my next classes, I will again continue normal distribution and then exponential distribution. Thank you.